And just like that, yeah. there was two. So yeah, I got a call from my friend. She said that she was on her way to Chicago and she saw a beehive um, on the side of the highway. I knew the exact mile marker that it was at. Um, so I called Nate, trying to figure out what I should do, and he said to get a hold of the Holland Area Beekeepers Association and see if we could get some in touch with some people um, who pick up swarms. So long story short, I got someone to come out but I also ended up meeting them out there just to try to help locate the hive. It's kind of a really scary situation because uh, there was just like semis blowing by. It was on I-196. Really busy because it's Memorial Weekend and um, the poor hive had, um, there was like two boxes that had fallen off. Two miles down the road there was another box. But Mike had an apiary right around the corner so we went over there. We think that maybe the queen is in this bottom piece so we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what we got. Yeah, I really wanted to tape you picking them up, but it was just a little too. It was crazy. Yeah, that was really scary, actually. Thanks, Chandra, for telling us about these bees. You rescued a whole hive. All right. You're a gutsy girl. I haven't been stung yet. I, maybe oh, that's what's going on. It's an adventure. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're so cool. These poor bees have been... They've been uh, bounced around a bit. They've been, they've been hit. A lot of stuff's been destroyed. Aww. Here's the queen. Right there. Oh, sweet. See it? I did. There oh she yeah. Is. She's, she made it. She made it. Oh yep. my gosh, that's so healthy, cool. Healthy, beautiful queen. We're gonna put them all in one box. Bit warmer. Oh, poor things. Yeah, they're a little bit wet and damp. They've been sitting out all night. Wow, I'm just impressed by the bee network here in Holland. Just made a few phone calls and you were on the way. <laughs> yeah. all, all, they were all roped together. They're already doing. Oh, they're already doing their them. thing. Yeah, doing good. Boy, these poor bees have been doing through good. a lot. Beautiful hive. you have a place to put your bees? Yeah. Okay. You have a stand and everything? We got talking and he found out that we're new beekeepers and insisted that we have the second hive. Um, we were set up for a second hive. However, we didn't, we didn't have one. So this is so cool, but Mike said that we need to have two hives. Well, I'm ready to go here in a minute. Wow, I feel like the bees are like tossing stuff out of the hive right now. Oh my gosh, these bees are so cool. They're cleaning the house already. They're already, see, right here? Yeah. Hauling out this dead larvae. They're already cleaning house. They're doing their thing already. Wow, that is yeah, so cool. cool. Happy, happy. Look <laughs> at them all. You got eyeballs looking up at you. That's awesome. Aww. Yeah. So we'll put put this back together for them and we'll give them their other box and we'll be all good to go. Well, we're gonna have to speed up our training, I guess. Just watch some more videos. <laughs> no big deal, it really isn't. Nathan wishes he could have been here, but he's at work um, and he couldn't get away. I'm so thankful for this guy. Very appreciative for what he did today. I'm really appreciative of Chandra calling. I'm not even really sure what drove me to leave my little safe cubicle to do this, but it's so cool. Just like that, there was two.